You probably use some applications that contain different navigation between pages by swiping left or right. You may touch and swipe to move to the next page, and you can navigate from one page to another page by swipe gesture. This is what we call a carousel page. Carousel page is a page that users can swipe from side to side to navigate through pages of content, like a gallery. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms carousel page. 2. Wrap views inside a frame. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. In terms of implementation, a carousel is similar to a tabbed page. Let's change this blank template to a carousel page. We also need to change the parent class of our main page to a carousel page. The key difference between a carousel page and a tabbed page is in the children's property. As you can see in the tooltip, the type of the children property of a carousel page is I list of content page. This means we could only add content page for its derivatives as its children. In other words, we cannot add navigation or tab page here as its child. Also, we don't need to set a title or an icon because these are not displayed anyway. So back in XAML, let's add children to the page. So here I've added three content pages as the child element of the carousel page. Let's run the app. Let's swipe. Similar to what we did to the tabbed page. We could also add an external page. But what I'm gonna do next is to populate this carousel page with a template. First, we need a data model for our template. I've already created the model and the collection of data. So this is our data model with three properties. And this is the collection of data we need to supply to our template. Since this is an observable collection, do not forget to add the namespace that defines the class which the system.collections.object model. And finally, we set the item source property to my list so we can populate its content to the carousel page. Let's go back in XAML code and create the template. The following XAML code example shows a carousel page constructed by assigning a data template to the item template property to return pages for objects in the collection. The frame is a layout used to wrap a view with a border that can be configured with color, shadow, and other options. Inside the frame element is a stack layout with two labels and an image to display the data bound to the item source of the page. Let's run the app again. Then swipe. There you have it. In my next video lesson, I will demonstrate how to create a flyout page. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!